Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna tell you the most important things that you can opt to enhance your learning. Yes, I am talking about the most important techniques that will guide you to improve or raise up your faculty or skill of learning. So let me share with you the 10 techniques to enhance learning. So the 10 techniques are outline, divide, vary, incubate, engage, use your imagination, feedback, prior knowledge, and 3R technique, self-regulation. We will discuss all these uh, in detail. Let's move on to the discussion. Okay, so this outline is uh, very different from the outline which we draw in the essays. Uh, this is a kind of mental outline, and in this um, in this technique, what we do is that we look at all the headings and subheadings of our of our text. After reading all headings and subheadings. We should we should look at all the pictures or diagrams in the text. After after having a look at all the pictures, what you have to do now read the first and the last paragraph of the text. After you have gone through the first and the last paragraph, now read the first sentence of each paragraph. At last, what you have to do is to read the whole text. After you have gone through all these uh, things, all these things of outline, you will be able to understand the message clearly and you will learn faster. Well, let's talk about now divide. You might be thinking that what things should be divided. Let me tell you. You can divide your time and assignment or task. Divide your study time into the chunk of about 50 minutes. If you talk about assignment division, break up your reading material into smaller parts and focus on each part individually. Are we getting my point? Okay, so let's talk about now very very means a change a change in the environment so according to the psychological point of view a person cannot concentrate a topic for more than 50 minutes therefore you lose focus or concentration when the things remain the same for the long period of time so in between learning you make yourself busy in other things also like reading relaxing thinking having coffee or writing the main points of your topic guys what you think of incubate let me tell you basically incubations incubation means the sitting on eggs for the purpose of hatching young or keeping warm or to develop life within them. If the hatching of eggs into chickens require time, similarly your brain requires time in processing things. If you are reading something that is demanding or difficult, leave it for tomorrow you learn more when you give your brain some time to process focus on something else if you're not getting at uh, the point leave it for tomorrow focus on something else or read something different from the topic which you are not understanding if you will come back tomorrow automatically you will get uh, you will get the points 
you will understand the same demanding topic on the next day you will find uh, the demanding the same demanding topic uh, very easy on the next day because your brain is processing your brain is working on that difficult topic since you have skipped it dear friends now dear friends let's talk about now engage you know that learning involves attention and uh, concentration don't just read for the reading sake but also do something with knowledge or information that you are gaining from your readings for example uh, you engage yourself uh, by highlighting the important points highlighting or underlining important points or if you are finding any thing important rewrite in your diary or in your copy if you are uh, finding anything to be mapped then start making maps on the on, on the rough page Dear friends, this technique is very important. Be creative. Whatever you are reading, along with the reading, you should create images in your mind. You should clear your topic into the cloth of imagination. What you have to do is to visualize ideas. If you are reading the text, if you are reading any topic, it is in the form of verbal it is it is a verbal uh, kind of thing what you have to do you have to change it into images you have to change it into films you do, you should change the topic or the material provided to you in the films or movies this will leave uh, a good imprint on your mind by doing so you will be able to memorize things and you will be able to keep things in your mind for the long period of time the positive feedback or response from the teacher or tutor is very important for learning if we talk about the prior knowledge the effects of the effect the effects of prior knowledge on the learning so if you know something already and now you are reading something new that is related to your previous knowledge it will affect your learning positively research shows that prior knowledge influences both your conceptual growth and conceptual change with conceptual growth you add to your existing knowledge and with conceptual change you correct misconceptions or errors in existing knowledge if we talk about the three technique the three R technique uh, I would say that this technique is the backbone of all these ten techniques whenever you are going through a text don't read it only one time at first time you read it after reading you recite it and after after reciting you review it so if you're not uh, pointing out the difference between the three read recite and review I'm gonna tell you so reading is just reading let me select the highlighter so reading is just reading while if we talk about reciting uh, Reciting is to repeat aloud the passages, poems, or other texts that that you have read already. If we talk about review, so review uh, it is to survey, to look broadly over something that you have read and recited already. So by going through three R technique you will memorize faster and you will understand 
faster and definitely you will learn faster self regulation uh, if you ask me that what is the importance of self regulation i would say that this is this is not so important as the other techniques are therefore i am not discussing uh, elaborately on this technique i have written the points is they were written in the in the, in the notes so students self regulation assist us in learning and self regulatory skills can be taught self regulation skills including attention organization self control planning and memory strategies improve learning and engagement and can be taught through direct instruction modeling and classroom organization this was all for today's lecture thank you for watching see you in next video bye bye